U.N. nine days after helping his high school win the regional championship soccer game, 17-year-old Ryan Plowman died. Doctors suspect the tragic death caused by mono. WDN Shannon Halligan has more on how the beloved student and athlete is being remembered. Yeah, Ryan's parents and coach said that he was remarkably strong. But when he got sick with this virus, an underlying condition and medication made it so his body couldn't fight it off. 17-year-old Ryan Plowman had just helped the Allen B. Shepard soccer team win regionals. Ryan's parents said he wasn't feeling well and took him to the doctor for testing, but he quickly started to feel worse. In fact, it was Saturday morning. Uh, he woke up and his sore throat was so severe that he couldn't swallow. He could not swallow at all, and he actually had he was his tonsils were bleeding. Not long after, he was rushed to Comer Children's Hospital. The soccer star's test results came back positive for mononucleosis. But it was an underlying condition that made it harder for him to fight. He also had Crohn's disease. And they are suspecting because of the medication from the Crohn's disease, um, it suppressed his immune system and his body couldn't fight it. Ryan wanted to go to college to be a pharmacist. His parents said so he could help others and I can work in the hospital and fix them that way. And anything to help, that's what he wanted to do. He always said he wanted to help others. The Crestwood teen passed away Saturday. We figured our Ryan was too strong for something like this to get Absolutely. him. Absolutely, yeah. He was very, very strong. Strong-willed, strong-hearted. And yeah. besides his physical strength, he was strong. His coach said the loss has been incredibly difficult for anyone who had the opportunity to know Ryan. He worked hard on and off the field. He was just one of those kids that I always said, if I had a team of Ryan Plowmans, like it would be the most pleasurable experience that, that, you know, that any coach could ask for. He was just one of those like souls that you were happy that you got to interact with. And a fundraiser is raising money for hospital and funeral expenses. We have that information up on our website at WGNTV.com. A vigil is also planned for 7 p.m. at the high school. That is this Wednesday. Thank you, Shannon.